Hi, Cancer. What's going on? Um, so this week, I've been called to do an energy read <laughs> for you and the person you're connecting to. Um, as always, I'll give my disclaimer that the person you're connecting to could be romantic, could be a friendship, could be your boss, could be your mother, your father, your dog, your turtle. <laughs> okay? Um, it's not just about romantic love. Now, much of what I see and what I speak will be um, more so that, but you have to use your intuition and... Um, follow along as it relates to your story and your situation okay so yeah we're going to take a look at your energy their energy clarify some stuff get some other oracle cards blah blah blue blue right i hope you guys are doing well happy birthday to those of you celebrating a birthday today yesterday tomorrow next week okay happy 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 mother birthday <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's get your Oracle card to start here. I think this is called the Starry Beginnings Oracle deck. Yeah. All right, what do you have for Cancer Spirit? Release me of any judgment, any bias, please. Just clear messages. Just your message for Cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what do we have? Time to move on. Wow. Okay. Number six. You guys know I love the number six. Um, flow with the river. See where it leads you, it says. Or takes you, excuse me. Okay. Number six. The number six, as I was just explaining, I think, to Gemini, um, is about moving on. I mean, we've we've completed the stage of the number five, which is chaos, conflict, confusion, difficulty, change, and now it's time to move on to calmer waters. Kind of like the six of swords represents, right? Okay, so um, Cancer, you know, <laughs> I don't know. For those of you who feel like you don't want to move on, maybe maybe you shouldn't watch this if you don't want to hear the real stuff. I don't know the need to say that so anyway spirit and this high priestess card keeps showing itself so your intuition may definitely be telling you this um okay spirit tell me what's going on with cancer and cancer's person please whoever it is that's on their mind that they're connecting with even the person that they don't know they're connecting with but is trying to get in their energy tell me what's going on please This is your side. Okay. Oh gosh. You know it's time to move on. That's their side. Jeez Louise. Okay. And the overall energy, you you guys both know it's time to move on. This this shit is dead. That's what I want to say four of cups but you had the two of swords underneath of that and the death card and the strength card and the empress card six of pentacles um you guys both know that this is not the place that keeps you stable that there's something better for you but for some reason there's um this stuck energy that we see when the two of swords shows up okay But you're both unsatisfied or dissatisfied. Okay. A lot of love on both sides, I will say that. Okay. A lot of love on both sides, but um, um, and it's funny, you know, now, now that I look at this, your last reading, Cancer, for last week was about you regretting some decisions, but needing to understand that they were in everyone's best interest. So I don't know if you already separated from this person and you're regretful of that or regretful of some actions that you took with, with that Eight of Wands especially. Um, 
So here it is showing up again. Okay, you have the Five of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay, this is an energy of thinking back, like, okay, and especially, I mean, all of these cards, you can see that, but in this Eight of Wands specifically, you see her like, is this where I should go? Maybe I should stay here. You know, angels, can you give me some advice? It's like, okay. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Cups, please, for cancer. I mean, technically, you have the Four of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Six of Cups, you know, because that Four of Cups is shared energy, and um, this is someone who is who's who can't move on, and you know, your Oracle card is telling you that it's time to flow with the river and see where it takes you. Tell me about this Five of Cups, please. Five of Cups showing up again. Page of Swords and the star i mean that's exactly everything that i just finished saying it's like you're looking at this person or at this energy this situation i mean this may be the need for you to let go of a plan or an or an idea of some sort some kind of um you know and it's showing up in their space that that seven of cups energy where you were not really looking at a situation or a person for what it is. I feel like the Page of Swords here is asking for you to do just that. Um, you know, when you look back on your decisions, when you look back on your actions, when you look back on those memories, what really happened? What really occurred? Because this was not um, something that, that was um, or is divinely guided, or at least not at this time, you know? Page of Swords is asking for you to be more curious, you know, like like I was saying in this Eight of Wands, I'm not going to clarify it. Um, like I was saying in this Eight of Wands, it's like someone looking at the star, like, you know, only focused on that star. Um, and that's exactly what the Five of Cups shows or talks about. It's about being focused on um, one thing when really there's more. Eight of Wands is... Um, that fast movement, that communication that I feel you want to have um, with this person, because it's, hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Um, because I feel like there is a separation already. I mean, if there isn't, there's it, it, it feels like two people who are roommates rather than lovers, okay, um, in a home. Yeah. Um, I want to clarify the Six of Cups. Tell me more about the Six of Cups, please. We have the Seven of Wands coming out. Um, Very resistant energy. Cancer, I feel like your friends and family or um, people who really care and love about you are, are, are advising you to move on as well and you're um, pushing them away. That's what the Six of Cups and Seven of Wands are giving me. It's like you're holding on to the positive memories when, I don't know, there, there's something about those positive memories that are not so positive, and especially, I know, with the Seven of Swords over there, something clearly occurred, right? Tell me more about the Six of Cups, please. Strength card. I don't know, for some reason you can't let go. Eight of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck. For some reason you can't let go. Um, I mean, maybe there, there were more positive memories than negative ones and it's hard to uh, think about anything else. You know, the tower showing up with the Two of Cups. 
So for some of you, there there may be a need for you to let go here in order to allow something else to come in. Okay, I think regardless of what happens here, there either already was a tower moment. For some of you, I feel like for the majority of you, there will be a tower moment because there's this inability for both of you to let go um, when, you, when that's what needs to happen. Let's take a look at their energy. They have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Lovers card. <sighs> so this person's not happy either, but I I kind of feel like that person was a little flighty. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if this person cheated on you or they're about to. <laughs> I hate to say that. I really do. Um... But it feels like they have a choice between not, you know, not just you. I honestly, I feel like this person has already stepped out if they have not already. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. There's the page of wands. Page of wands is that flirty, flirty page. That person in the page of cups, gosh. That person who wants to go on a new adventure could be with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here with the King of Swords showing up. Um, page of cups on the other side of that. Yeah, this person wants something new. Um, could definitely be a Pisces here or a um, Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, or just someone who embodies those traits. I feel like this person's very indecisive, or at least it feels that way to you. Um, I think they have a big decision to make between two people. Uh, I, I don't know, it could be more than one person, but they definitely wanna go on a new adventure here and explore, what's it called, the, 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 the other side, like the grass on the other side, you know, whatever, whatever that saying is. I feel like they want to, Move on to something else here. Tell me more. Oh, and they have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Wands. This person definitely has a um, decision to make here. Cancer. I really feel like this is a very emotional time for you, um, especially with, I mean, this is your season. Um, and as I always say to everybody, I hope this person doesn't or didn't ruin your birthday. But um, yeah. Let's clarify the lover's card and see what shows up there. Because I feel like they have a de decision. They have a choice between multiple people. They have, did I say peoples? <laughs> they have a choice about whether or not they want to stay or here or they want to go elsewhere. Tell me about the lover's card, please. This person is really doing some soul searching. Um, I don't know. I, I, I started to say which is good, but I think that's more so just your energy of um, feeling like there's some kind of hope in this situation. Um, they're doing some soul searching, Cancer, to, to, to decide 
what it is that they really want, what it is that's really going to fulfill them. Um, and I again, going back to that Seven of Cups, that, that, that delusional energy or, I don't know, it's like a false hope kind of thing. It's like they see one person or one energy as being satisfying, fulfilling, and the other as, as the Three of Swords. Okay, King of Pentacles showing up, the Hermit, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're really doing some soul searching here with the Nine of Swords and the Judgment card. Um, they, they, which I do, I continue to, <laughs> continue to hear which is good. Okay, maybe it is good. All right, that maybe that'll that'll mean that they make the best, highest choice for the both of you. Um, Hermit card and the Three of Swords. It's like. They, they feel like they, you know, the, the difficulty here or in this connection, in this situation, um, they've learned the good lesson. They fought the good fight. And, um, you know, that's the end of that. Okay. A part of them. And then the other part of them is looking at this Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, like I can have more. I can do more. I can be more. Two of Pentacles. Yep. Ten of Swords. That's what I'm saying here. They're really trying to figure out what will bring them happiness, what will make them feel loved. I feel like they, they feel as though this situation is dead and gone, like they've gone through enough here, enough heartache, enough pain, enough trauma, whatever it is that you guys have been through. It's like, I feel like you guys are seeing this differently while you're both discontent and, and, and um uncomfortable and unsure and in need of something new it's for different reasons you are still holding on to hope here i feel i feel like you you're um either um you know ruminating on a choice that you've made in the past and and, and trying to forget the negative memories okay um and they are like in a space of like one foot in one foot out kind of thing All right, let's clarify this four of cups and see where you guys are both aligning as far as your discontent is concerned. Spirit, tell me about this four of cups, please. have some fight in you but is it for the right reasons or is it the right choice to make I don't know I can't tell you that only you can tell yourself that um you know I feel like this person um is really trying to make the best decision here maybe you've given them an ultimatum and that's why they're de thinking so deeply because they are really really um, thinking about it uh, again like I said earlier if this person has not already stepped out or you don't know about it because even when we were clarifying the lovers card the moon card was at the bottom of the deck moon card and the seven of swords this could definitely be something that you don't even know about or someone that you're not aware of um, you know or something that they're keeping hidden some big decision some big choice of sorts um, that they feel will will fulfill them Okay, something that they want to go towards with the page of wands, page of cups there. Um, there's definitely a big choice. They're trying to be fair about it, I feel, which, again, is good. Um, you guys are both hanging out in limbo, though, not taking action, not making any decisions here. Um, and that is precisely why your oracle card is telling you flat out it's time to move on. What else do we have? Nine of Swords for both of you. Eight of Swords for both of you. And the Ace of Wands. There's still a spark here. Um, you know, for some of you, you guys are both wanting to move forward together. Um, there's definitely still some passion with the with the, with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords. That there's two people who um, won't give up on each other. Right? <sighs> Let's leave it there. Let's get a rebel deck card and we'll close out.
Spirit, what rebel that card do you have for Cancer, please? Be fucking grateful. Okay. Uh, shit could be so much worse. That's interesting. I'm going to pull a card on that. Because a, a, a part of me feels like, again, going back to whatever secrets this person may be holding. It's like your intuition is telling you to move on and you should be grateful for that because things could get a lot worse or could have been a lot worse. Tell me tell me more about this um, Rebel Deck card, Spirit, please. Tell me more about this Rebel Deck card, please. You need to be grateful that they showed you the truth of who they are, the magician. Yeah, this person may have been manipulative or trying to manipulate you, but I feel like it's like you had the drop on them. <laughs> you have the drop on them. Fool cards here at the bottom of the deck. Something here is saying, don't be naive, Cancer. Okay. This is the message I have for you guys, okay? I hope it helps. Don't forget to like the video, share the love, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time for the next one.